the one of the articles that we actually wrote was why is bone marrow the ideal proliferant? I mean, it's a it's a good question. Like, think about it. If you were going to use the ideal pro proliferant, you know, as far as healing to get the body healing uh, in the you know, in, t in the tissues that are injured, like ligaments, tendons, cartilage, what you would want is a natural proliferant that the body normally uses. You know, it would have all the growth factors and all the cells that are needed for healing. Whenever there's healing in the body, there's always progenitor cells or stem cells that can replace the injured structures. Like when a ligament's injured, there, you actually, to grow the ligament, you need additional fibroblasts. The cells that form fibroblasts are called stem cells or progenitor cells, so they rush to the area and then turn into fibroblasts, which then make the ligaments that make up the tendons. So to me, the ideal proliferant is bone marrow because it has all the progenitor cells, which are cells that can form other cells, like ligament cells called fibroblasts or cartilage cells, called chondrocytes. Also, the bone marrow has all the nutrition that the progenitor cells or stem cells need. Plus, it has all the growth factors. You know, it has all the growth factors uh, that are needed for healing. And if you think about it, you know, we all know that the immune system is involved in healing. Well, where is the hub or where is the immune system, where, where does the immune system originate from? It originates from the bone marrow. So. For all those reasons, the bone marrow to me is the ideal proliferant, plus it's easy to obtain. Like, we can get bone marrow directly from the shin. Everybody knows the shin is very close to the skin. And then if we need a lot, a lot of bone marrow, we'll take it from the iliac crest or the pelvis. But most people, you can feel that bone very easily too, so it's very easy to obtain it. We numb the bone, the outside of the bone, so it's a relatively painless procedure. It can be done very, very quickly. And then I like to inject it just directly into the structures that's needed. We can inject the bone marrow directly into the uh, various areas around the spine, like the capsule or ligaments and the various ligaments, into the knee joint or hip joint to stimulate cartilage repair, or meniscal repair, or labral repair, as well as various tendons and ligaments on the body. When you would choose to do uh, the get the bone marrow from the iliac crest is when you need a lot of solution. So if, if, you, if I need for, to thoroughly treat a person, I need, if I need more than 30 cc's of solution, you know, I would get it from the iliac crest because you can get basically almost unlimited amounts of bone marrow from the iliac crest. The tibia, you're normally limited to about you know, 20 to 30 cc's of solution. So if a person just has one or two joints to be done, then you can get the bone marrow from the tibia Otherwise, you have to get it from the iliac crest. But it's funny when folks come here, they're always nervous about, you know, somebody's going to drill into my bone. But I would tell them that it's it, it, not to worry because the only thing that you feel pretty much is the outside of the bone. So you can numb the outside of the bone easily with Novocaine. And if you're concerned, I mean, the concern should be about the prolotherapy because prolotherapy involves so many injections that are painful. So that's why some of the clients that we treat at Caring Medical will use conscious sedation or I'll give them some pain medications prior to the procedure. I'll admit I'm a little bit wimpy, so when I get prolotherapy, I take some pain medication before the procedure. So, uh, you know, so, you know, just the, sometimes you need pain medication, but absolutely, you know, bone marrow is a great, great proliferant.